Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're looking at Psalm 127 today, and I love this psalm for two reasons. First reason is found in verses 1 and 2. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Now, I love this. Uh, in fact, we used it for the very first capital campaign building project we had here at Calvary. I mean, I literally had been the pastor for three months, and, and we started a building program, building project, uh, long ago. Doubled our space. Uh, it was great. But um, we used this as our theme verse. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. So what he's saying is we can't do anything without God. We can't be successful long term without God, whether you were building a career, building a family, or building a church. Yeah, people succeed for a season on their own, but without God, it's going to fail, it's going to fall, and we see that over and over and over again in churches and in careers and in families, all of that. So I realize as the senior pastor at Calvary for 31 years that Calvary is only as strong as we are dependent upon Jesus. That's number one. Second reason I love this is verses 3 through 5. He says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. Uh, the fruit of the, of the womb, a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. I just love that. Children are a blessing from the Lord. By the way, if you don't have them yet, grandchildren are a blessing from the Lord. And, and we should receive them as a blessing. So if you have kids at home or if you have grandkids at all, you should receive them as a blessing, which means you love them as a blessing and you teach and discipline them as a blessing. You see them as a blessing in your life, not a burden, not a hassle, not, you know, another mouth to feed or another bill to pay, but as a blessing from God. And when you see them as a blessing, uh, it means if we bless them. And by the way, when I say we bless them, what, what I primarily mean are two things. Number one, teach them about Jesus. And number two, model an authentic biblical faith. And, you know, kids wander away from the church, not because they're, you know, their parents don't want them to be saved, but they wander away from the church because either they weren't really taught about Jesus at home, it was just a church thing, and the family visited church, but Jesus wasn't in their home, or because their parents were hypocrites. I'm sorry to say that, but if you're saying believe this, but you're living out something differently at home, then your kids are going to go, it's not real, and I don't have to follow it. Um, so if we bless them, it means we teach them about Jesus, and we model an authentic faith. What will end up happening is those children and those grandchildren will bless us. So Calvary, I pray that you are building your life on Jesus, because unless the Lord builds a house, the building, builders labor in vain. And I pray that you know that children are a blessing from God. Have a great day and God bless.